when this is Super Mario and Sonic Fan 768 the Hedgehog back at it again with another live stream and today's live stream is SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated for the PS4. Now I was really excited to play this remake for a while after it was announced. And I can't believe they added cut content such as Robot Squidward and the unused Patrick Stream in multiplayer mode. Well, the section of Patrick's un of unused Patrick's dream. Yeah, you know, the ice cream and the sundae uh, and whatever stuff that's in the unused Patrick's dream. Mickey Mouse and Amphibia and BFDIF, uh, BFDI fan in 2007 and Super Justice Bros says hi, welcome to my live stream. Damn, five people already? Wow. Elliot Entertainment Channel says, Hey, well, welcome to my live stream, Elliot. And I know I've collected three golden spatulas already, but if you haven't played about the original Battle for Bikini Bottom, then I'm pretty sure you'll like this. So, we're gonna watch the cutscenes, and then we're just gonna see the dialogue on what each character is saying. Welcome to Bikini Bottom, a normally peaceful undersea. I know I don't have the subtitles on, but I know what every character is saying. Pure horror, wherein our little yellow friend will play the starring role. Because I played the original. Today is the big day. I have devised an ingenious plan to finally steal the Krabby Patty formula. And if Bikini, if Bikini Bottom, Bottom happens, happens to get to get demolished in the process, the process so oh well. well. <laughs> With my brand new Duplicatotron 3000, I'll clone an army of robots that will wreak mayhem and destruction at my command. One last review of the checklist. Let's see. Item number, Item number one, one is Plankton, is Plankton a genius. genius. Answer, Answer yes. yes. Okay, okay checklist, checklist complete. Throw, throw the switch. The switch. <laughs> Welcome, my perfectly obedient robot army. Hang on. Hang on. I want to get, get a photo for my, for my scrapbook. Book. Hey, hello. <laughs> Robots. What do you think you're doing? And again, you didn't switch it. You switched oh, it to no, don't no, obey, no, but then you forgot no, to switch wait, it to obey. Wait. I made you! No! No! Oh my good China! <laughs> well, in this one, in the subtitles, he says, My good China, not my. Well, you all understand when you're older. Day playing robots and racehorses. Yeah, only I only keep, I keep getting the racehorses and the racehorses and robots, and the robots mixed, mixed up. up. Wouldn't it be great if we had real robots to play with, Patrick? I'd name mine Robo Jr. Robo Jr. Or, or Zorlon. Zorlon. Or, or maybe, maybe Frankie. Frankie. Yeah, these unreal robots are getting boring. Hey, what if we put the robots in here? Oh, how shellfish of you. <laughs> it's not just any shell. It's my magic wishing shell. Wow, that's great, Patrick. So we put the toy robots in here. Okay. Then we say the magic wishing words and shake the magic wishing shell. Okay. Then we go to sleep, and in the morning, we'll have real robots to play with. But Patrick, aren't we going to say the magic wishing words? You already, you already did. did. So, okay is the magic wishing word? It used to be Alakazam, Alabala, Wista, Tikitana, Fushbar, Girl, Beds, Fall, Venus, Snazzer, but I kept forgetting it. Are you sure this will work? Sure. Glad I got that one out of my chest. I only had one big cookie crumb and I was really hungry. So I put my cookie crumb in the magic wishing shell, then I said the magic wishing word and shook it, and in the morning I had lots of little cookie crumbs. Patrick, I proclaim that tomorrow is going to be the best day ever. Good night, SpongeBob. Good night, Patrick. The next morning. 
gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play okay, with Elliot robots, Elliot Entertainment gonna Channel says, Whoa! I'm tired of seeing this on I YouTube. I know it's like a big that. game, but Fortnite was all over the place. It, this is the same, but I had to, but I had a reason to. Yeah, Gary, it sure looks like we're in a doozy of a pickle. I think I'm gonna have to learn a lot in order to fix this mess. Meow. What a fantastic idea! Meow. These signs will provide important tips to help can you out. Can you do Bowser Jr. and Sonic? Can you do Bowser Jr. and Sonic watches Moana? Well, I'm still working on YouTube Story right now, but I'm trying to get the trying to get YouTube Story as soon as possible. Um, how do I but read I, the signs? But when I finish YouTube Story. I might do more episodes of Bowser Jr. and Sonic Watches. Oh, okay. Press this button to read the signs. Hmm. Ellie Entertainment Channel says, I met, but this has a reason to be all over the place. Okay. So if I want to come back and talk to you again, just walk, just walk up, up to you and, and press, press this R1. button. I'd better get started now, Gary. I think that this is going to be a very long day. Explore the kitchen, bedroom, attic, and closet. Hamza Amanet, sorry for my pronunciation, says hi. Welcome to my live stream. I make myself, I make myself a, snack. a snack, but there's no time! It shines! Spatula. Button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. push. push, push. Tylon the said the hedgehog is set. What's up, dude? Welcome to my live stream. My big live stream. Because I, I, my old I really wanted books. to play this game for a while after it was announced last year. Another fine for Patrick. And yes, I got that sock. Now I'm about to walk out. And I know where every sock is in jellyfish fields, so stay tuned for that. There's nothing like the sounds of your own neighborhood. Go away, SpongeBob. You're polluting my thinking space. I love this game. My final level is the robot, uh, Robo Patrick boss uh, battle. Trying to steal the Krabby Patty formula again, eh, Plankton? Well, well do you, you won't mean get away that you, that you've been, they have not been, that you have not been playing the original game? I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got to figure out how to regain control of the chum bucket from those robots. Where did they come from? Where? Where? Um, um I don't know. I don't know. Not from not me, from though. Me, that's, though. For that was, sure. that's for sure. They just showed up out of nowhere and started calling me rude names and throwing things. <laughs> they even bent all my spoons. I meant the original I love those, those spoons like Patrick. they were my children. Well, have you played the original game on PS2, Xbox, uh, or GameCube? Because I have it both on Xbox and PS2. That's terrible. Oh, won't you help me stop them? Before, Before they bend, they bend all, all my forks? forks? Not, the, Not forks. the forks. Of course I'll help. But wait, I'm supposed to collect a whole lot of golden spatulas. Golden spatulas, eh? 
SpongeBob, if you could get me back into the chum bucket, I'll give you a bucket full of golden spatulas. In your dreams. In your dreams. You've got a deal. Tyler on the Hedgehog says he has it on PS2. Actually, how about this? SpongeBob, what version? I just dropped by to give you a bubble hand. <laughs> Bubble buddy. You see, you're going to need to learn some new bubble blowing moves if you're going to journey to the ninth dimension and defeat the giant monkey man. Which that's a reference to Big Pink Loser. And also, when Patrick says, I want to defeat the little monkey man and save the eighth dimension from Big, from Big Pink Loser. If you haven't played the original game. But uh, all I need to do is figure out how to get rid of these robots. Oh, yeah, sorry. I've been in the soap bottle a little too long. Uh, where were we? Uh, something about new bubble moves. Right! Press this button Triangle. and you'll launch yourself straight up in the air with bubble power that defeats anything that is directly above you. Alrighty then. So, if you see these, uh, like, if you walk up to them, they'll just vanish. But since uh, you can hold L2, you could sneak up to them as a new feature. Well, that's something that we never got to see in the original game. But then you have to, but you have to sneak up on them by by slightly moving the left analog stick. SpongeBob, this flapping robot crisis is making the Krusty Krab lose money like a That's not Clancy ship. Brown. No money means no more Krusty Krab. No more Krusty Krab means no more fry cooking for you. <laughs> No more, no more fry, fry cooking. cooking. But because you're gullible, I'm gonna help you out. And of course make a small profit in return. I've got a few golden spatulas that I'll be willing to trade to you for some of those shiny objects. We are awesome, Venom uh, Padilla. Padilla. Padilla says, hello everyone. Welcome to the live stream. Uh, and we got some... Uh, hmm. Idle animate, got an idle animation of Spongebob playing with his nose, like at the end of the intro in every single episode. How's it going? Good, I'm doing really good. Actually, I'm really hyped, because I'm playing this game right now. now I can Dog can wear four, four pairs, pairs of underwear. underwear. This, this is great. great. I feel like, I feel a, like, new like a new sponge. Hey, Patrick. Nice sock. What sock? What sock? The one you're standing on. The one you're standing on. Oh, that one. We are it's awesome. Lost. Venom Padilla. Pad Padilla. I'm sorry for my pronunciation again. Cool. I love the SpongeBob. It's one of my favorite show movies and games. Well, if that one's lost, if that where one's are lost, your other socks? Are the socks? Well, they're more lost. A bunch of robots came through here and stole my whole sock collection. I could use some help getting them back. Sure thing, Patrick. What are best friends for? Okay, then. For every ten socks you bring back to me, I'll give you a golden, golden turkey, turkey baster. baster. You mean, you mean spatula? spatula? Bless you. Bless you. Boy, Patrick will now be I got a total of two bag. socks. Stupid robots ruined a perfectly relaxing mud bath this morning. In memory of Stephen Goldberg, uh, August 21st, 1961 through November 27th, 2018. Said by Talon the Hedgehog. Yeah, R.I.P. Stephen Goldberg. And also Tim Conway, who voiced Barnacle Boy, who passed away last year. I am so sorry, Squidward. Patrick and I were just playing a game and- Oh, I correct myself. I should have known that whole robot problem involved both of you. Squidward, I don't know what to do. How can I fix everything? Why don't you move to another town? That should help out more than enough. Ha, <laughs> ha, move to another town. Ha, I crack me up. <laughs> but seriously, just, just jump around, jump like, around an like an idiot. That should at that least, should make, at me least make me smile. 
I didn't know Squidward had a lamp. It shines. I believe that that quote with I didn't know Squidward had a lamp. I think that was not in the original game. Well, I don't know. I didn't know Squidward had a lamp. Not now. Okay, okay, okay. Just stop jumping, will you? If you take this golden spatula, will you please go away? See, Squidward? I knew that you could help me out. Don't touch me. Ah! Alrighty. Alrighty then, Tylon the Hedgehog said, I wish I had it more. I wish I had more subscribers like you and Yizna the Hedgehog. Yeah, uh, like so far Yizna the Hedgehog has 11.5, uh, 11,500 subscribers while I had 17,300 subscribers. But damn, my channel is becoming so popular lately. Same with Yeezyna the Hedgehog and SML, PewDiePie, MeshaSelf, Markiplier, etc. Alrighty then. Let's go to Jellyfish Fields. Classic level. Classic level. Of jellyfish fields, a place, a place to experience, experience nature, nature at its most raw, and sometimes, and sometimes a, bit a bit tender, tender from the stings. Joey said, What's up? Welcome to my live stream. Crash Band to our 469 said, Hey, I'm going to PS4, so I shall you. Well then, what are you gonna do about it? Like, you're gonna do some online multiplayer? Which, I don't know if I should do that in my live stream. Squidward, are you okay? No, I'm not No, I'm not okay, okay you barnacle lad. Do I look like I'm, I'm okay? okay? Well, your nose does look pretty big. I mean, bigger, I mean, than, bigger usual, than usual, because it's usually pretty big. big. And you look, and you look clammy, clammy. And, and oh, oh my gosh, gosh you're, you're bald. bald! I can't believe they brought back surprise SpongeBob from the movie <laughs> as an Easter egg. I've always been bald, but now, but now I'm, I'm stunned all, all over. Well, according, well, according, to, according the to the Jellyfish Field Manual, manual severe, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying, by applying a thick layer, layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. areas. <laughs> King <laughs> Jelly Jellyfish! Well, I guess you're off to scale Spork Mountain and die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stay, I'll stay here. here. Bald up, Bald up here, here in excruciating pain. pain. You do, you that. do that! Don't worry, Don't worry Squidward. Squidward. I'll bring, I'll bring back, back that King Jellyfish jelly, jelly, jelly for you to rub all over yourself. yourself. I love opening presents. I love opening presents. I believe that wasn't also used in the original game. Can't but, jellyfish but they today. It. I'm going fishing for robots. You just met the sponge. You just met the sponge. Fresh like a spring breeze. Oh, 
Oh, sorry, that was some um, user just to uh, uh, notify me if I'm joining this party or not. Just ignore him. Boy, Patrick will be glad to have this back. And I got enough shiny objects. Okay, for one thing and rehydrated, when I play the original game, when I grab this sock, I, I jump onto this, uh, to this platform right here, and then I would uh, go to this sock with use, by using the cruise bubble, uh, like the fast cruise bubble, in the original game. But in this one, you can't get this sock at Spongebob, you need Patrick, uh, you need to go all the way back as Patrick. Oh yeah, I got the, the teleport box. And 69 says, Did you got Fortnite? Well, yeah, I did, but we're not doing that in this live stream today. We're just uh, doing the uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Another find for Patrick. Because I want to play mostly uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated to see that you, if you guys played the original game or you, or you have not played the original game. Did, do you know uh, Lucas Gray? I, of course I do. Of course I. Of course I. Uh, sorry for my. Uh, uh, never mind. Of course I know Lucas Gray. Uh, from YouTube. I see his DVD and Blu ray VHS openings a lot on his channel. And one of the. As the plushies episode has, has my comments saying, um, Mario, I know you hate. Barney, but do you hate the I love you son in one of the episodes which I don't rem which I don't remember That chat had that chat that has me All right in the original game when you bounce on here you don't uh, have it doesn't have the spinning animation when you from when you jump but however they brought it back So that's really good that uh, THQ Nordic brought back, uh, some, for, brought, brought back some cut content, including the Robot Squidward boss, which the Robot Squidward boss is only in multiplayer, so you can't uh, defeat him in, in story mode. Hey Gary, what's shaking? Wow. 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 Jump for a golden spatula! I must I be must in, be in heaven. heaven! Now let's bungee jump here. Oh, then go down to grab that golden spatula. Yeet! And I know I locked my first uh, seven trophies in the game, but it's just... Uh, um, I can't wait to unlock some more, and maybe 100% the PS4 version. Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. push, push. push. Condor Kesh students said hello. Welcome to my live stream. Joey, what happened to Spiral Shrek? Well, didn't you see that my video was saying that I'm canceling both Madagascar Skate 2 Africa and the Span 76 A style and Spiral Shrek that are both canceled because I have too much school? 
And I'm sorry about the vacuum that's in the background because my mom is vacuuming right now. Or whoever is vacuuming. And also, I don't know if I should do sequels yet. Because I have to find new characters and other stuff. What's your favorite season? Season from SpongeBob? Well, pretty sure all seasons because I've seen SpongeBob all the time as a kid. Well, old SpongeBob, but I know people love the old SpongeBob, but not the new SpongeBob. Because the modern SpongeBob, though, is a bit modern. So yeah, I, I love every season from SpongeBob because I love SpongeBob. video last night so I won so what is you uh, babe your favorite my video is well I'm not to uh, well I've seen some of your channel but not all of it because uh, it look I don't know but let's just move on I mean I like your channel but I'm not I haven't watched it And then grab that teleport box for Patrick, which we'll, which we'll do later. Hold on, let me grab the sock that's up there. Hold up. I can't forget to grab. Can't forget to grab the other one. There we go, seven socks. Do you know Supersonic Blake? Well, I've not seen that channel for a while, or I have not seen that channel yet. <coughs> uh, sorry, guys. <sighs> My eyes are so sleepy right now, but uh, I gotta. But I gotta do this live stream just for you guys because it's it's a big day for all today's a big day for all SpongeBob fans, including Whoa, Balfour Bikini Bottom Mermaid fans. Mermaid Man, I have all your comets and toys and mail. Huh? W what? Oh yeah, it's that Sponge Kid. And now, what was I supposed to tell you? And that ain't. Ernest Borgany, who voiced uh, Mermaid Man. R.I.P. Ernest Borgany. That Patrick is surrounded by robots and needs my help. Huh? Oh, no. I think it had something to do with massaging my feet. Well, if massaging your feet will save Patrick, then massage I must. Help! They're making me hit myself! Massaging your feet massaging isn't working. Massaging your feet isn't working. I think working. I better try a more direct approach. By clipping my toenails? Here I come, Patrick! 
And of course, get this. Oh yeah, this song right here. I love this one. I love opening presents. Another fine for Patrick. That was a ton of fun. I should do it again sometime. Hey, you, you see that message to do with my picture on PS4? Yeah, I saw it, but we're not going to do that uh, today. The most satisfying. Push, 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 push. push, push. push, push. SpongeBob. Woo! Thank goodness you're safe, Patrick. Well, of course, SpongeBob. Why wouldn't I? Be? Why wouldn't I be? Well, the robot and the. Oh yeah, I found this for you. I don't know what it is, but it looks important. Thanks, Patrick. I tell you what, all that running around has left me poop. Why don't you continue on for a bit? Okay. Okay. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! And there's the vacuum again, but ignore that. Carry. Sure gotta carry a lot of stuff around. Mr. Plankton, are you going to vaporize me today? So very tempting. Unfortunately, I found myself in the undesirable position of having to assist you. I was in an undesirable position yesterday, and now my neck hurts. Heed my words, my large future minion. Go into Jellyfish Cave. Follow the instructions on the signs that you see. At the end of the caves, you'll still be a big pink idiot, but you'll know enough to help defeat the robots and get me back into the chum bucket. Well, then will you vaporize me? I might spare your life so I can force you to work in my sweatshop, making low-quality design and knockoff wallets. Oh, thank you. And of course, they brought back the ass slam. And then if you double jump, it's a belly flop. Ooh, scary, Ooh, scary dark dark cave. Cave. I don't know why they brought back the ass slam from the SpongeBob SquarePants movie video game, but you double. But then you have to double jump for a body, for a belly flop. That's really weird.
only is a whistle. SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. Uh oh, this one goes boom. <coughs> Have you been lonely out there all alone? Yes. Good yes. thing, too. That monster has been stinging all my good customers in their poop decks. I hear that you can find him up top of Old Sport Mountain here. Go hook that beast, sailor! Oh boy, oh, Mr. Boy, Krabs. Mr. Krabs. I'll, I'll see what, see I, what, can what do. I can do. Ooh, wooden present. Hello, Patrick. I've got a job for you to do. Oh, boy. I found a golden spatula, but those robots out on the island stole it and threw it into the lake. If you can figure out how to get it back, you're welcome to it. Sure enough, Mrs. Puff. Trey Banco Yeti says hi. 
I don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. And here comes the best line. Well done, Patrick. You're a real star. <laughs> Did I get a cookie? No. No. Just met the sponginator. How's your game? Really? It's shiny. Amazing. Works amazing. I haven't played the Switch version size. yet. This one is for the cruise bubble, but I don't have the cruise bubble, uh, so you can uh, so you can imagine that I could I could get the sock right now. I love opening presents. says I'm here. Welcome to the live stream, and I just died. Do a DVD, DVD opener on the Fox and the Hound. I don't have the Fox and the Hound, but I do have the Fox and the Hound 2 on DVD. I feel like a new sponge. I can get the sock. <coughs> <coughs> 
Patrick will be glad to have this back. Patrick will be glad to have this back. Aha, there's the sock down there. Another find for Patrick. You like SpongeBob. You like I like SpongeBob SquarePants. Me too. Well, well, I'm I'm glad you're enjoying this live stream, buddy. Because this one's for you. Because actually, this one is for everybody. Because every, to everyone who plays the original game on PS2, Xbox, or GameCube, well, the home console releases. I'm not uh, counting the GBA or PC versions because they're both different than the original game. But anyways, like to anyone uh, who plays the original game on PS2, Xbox, or GameCube, I'm pretty sure you will, everyone will enjoy this live stream. Press X to jump on walls, I know that. Like this is in Sonic Unleashed to But I'm glad they did this before Sonic Unleashed. And of course uh, we still gotta look for the rest of the remaining socks. Which of course the one that I know is is from the beginning, which I'll which I'll do that later, and then the one at the in the slide section after you defeat King Jellyfish. Trey Bianacu, UT says, just here to see you, my buddy. 20th Century Zing says, you're doing great. Well, thanks, because I'm a real expert at Battle for Bikini Bottom. I 100% in the PS2 version three months ago. Actually, it was April. I did that. I 100% of the PS2 version. Gosh, two everyone's trying to help out today. Step quietly there. That King Jellyfish is just up at the top of this path. Good luck. You'll need it. Thanks, Bubble Buddy. Are you sure that you're ready to tackle King Jellyfish? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. And of course, King Jellyfish. I knew that King Jellyfish was dead, but who knew he had such a beautiful voice? And when Kira said, he didn't be able to run the bear. Well, I might do a different yeah, opening yeah. on that if my if disc one and disc two are not scratched. I I can do one of them. And yes, I can defeat King Jellyfish because back in my uh, oh, because back when I played the original game, I can't uh, replay the mini bosses, which are King Jellyfish, Prawn, and the Flying Dutchman. But you can't replay uh, the main bosses, which are. Uh, Robot Sandy, Robot Patrick, and, and Robot SpongeBob.
So who's excited for Paper Mario the Origami King next month? And it's about time we get another Paper Mario game after four years of color splash. Damn it! I just got ahead. Damn it! Fresh like a spring breeze. Fresh like a spring breeze. Feel like a new sponge. And I know uh, there's a trophy that I defeated King Jellyfish, which is the bronze trophy, but I already unlocked that trophy when I played this at midnight. And of course, go down from the slide. Boy, Patrick will be glad, Patrick to, have will be glad to have this back. And I unlocked 10. I got 10 golden spatulas. Again, I already unlocked that trophy at midnight. Have you played Minecraft? Well, not a, not all the time because I don't play Minecraft much. It shines. And also, who's excited for Crash Bandicoot 4? It's about time. That's coming out on October 9th. Like, I'm totally excited for that one. Because it's about time we get another Crash Bandicoot game in the main franchise after 12 years uh, since Mine Over Mutant was released. Oh, yeah. Oh, that feels so much better. Anything for my best friend Squidward. Anything for my best Can friend Squidward. Can I rub some on? Uh, what, what if I, I just, get you just gave you this? this? And of course, can't for, can't forget to to get that other sock that's in the goo. Why you hate the wild? Well, I've seen Lemur Rock Strikes Back and Inside Out Fan 2001's rants on the wild because it's the worst movie ever made, and it's a horrible ripoff to Madagascar and Finding Nemo. The worst movie ever made. And I also hate Chicken Little from 2005, which Lamarock Strikes Back also hates that movie. Yeah. 
fresh like a spring breeze. I wish there is a Madagascar 4. Me too. I wish Madagascar 4 existed too. And also Shrek 5. We gotta have Shrek 5. I know there's gonna be a Croods 2 this later this year, but I'm also excited for Croods Croods 2. After seven years uh, of the original movie. Play as a whistle. Oh, again, again. Totally pre-ordering pre -ordering Crash Bandicoot 4 on PS4 because at the end of the trailer it says buy the totally tubular skins for Crash and Coco and that's what I'm about to do because this is my oh, first PlayStation Store pre-order. So bright, so shiny. And of course I collected every golden spatula, but the last two are for the bubble bowl and the cruise bubble. Downtown Bikini Bottom uh, last time, uh, but I'm just gonna go to Goo Lagoon this time. Because I can't wait to hear the music in Goo Lagoon. Ah, Goo Lagoon. Can you do Sun Battle Red Junior, Sonic Beach Watches, Sludge, How to Train Your Dragon? The sea. I don't have that on DVD along with How to Train Your Dragon 2 and 3. I have Bikini Bottom Map on my Minecraft. Well, that's cool. You just met the Spongenator. Almost an hour. But it's great to be back doing my uh, PlayStation live streams. And of course, we got the monsoon. And also, with the post that I said that that I got Battle for Bikini Bottom rehydrated from PS4 physically from Target, well. I, I purchased this on digitally on the PlayStation Store and got my refund. So I got $38.30 back. And I'm not giving away my personal information because it's personal. And if I get $20, it'll make $58.30. If I add $2, then it'll be $61.30. Well, you do look a little red. Barnacles! 
That darn robot. Robot? Yeah, a big robot stole everybody's sunscreen. Oh no, everyone well, will I don't burn, know how and much then they'll get all itchy and peel. I don't know how much that exactly. That I would you need can't to spend get. a day at the beach without mm -hmm. sunscreen. That time. sun is way too hot. That robot is out on the island. Nobody can get to him. SpongeBob, maybe you can use those sun reflectors to point the sun's rays on that robot. If you hit one of the buttons on the side of a lifeguard tower, the reflector will turn. Connect all the towers and the light will shoot right, right out of the big reflector on the island. I guess that's what PlayStation then broadcasts Then all you have to do, do is swim out to the island and turn Echoes. the big reflector onto the robot. I'll stay here <laughs> and protect the babes. But I, uh, can't swim. But I can't swim. I don't do this mission a lot because I used the cruise bubble in the original BFBB. I haven't played Ice Age Scratch Nighty Adventure. Yes, I did. I collected every trophy in Scratch Nighty Adventure. Sega Infinite Gene said 2020 said hi welcome to the live stream. And of course I need to go over there, a but I can't swim snake. in the go. Because I can't use the sponge glide because it's a hard glitch to do in the original game. How to use the cruise bubble and the fast cruise bubble, but uh, I'm not playing the original game right now. supposed to go to the other side because it might be harder for me to do on how to get to the other side I'm excited for tomorrow because I heard there is Pokemon news at 4 p.m. well good luck with that Sean the 
cheap, serious ant movie. Ooh, yeah, I like yeah, I like that show ant movie. But I didn't see uh, Shaun the Sheep Farm Armageddon, unfortunately, in theaters. I didn't see that in theaters, unfortunately. Because I don't know if that's a US uh, release or just a hand. UK release. For a theatrical release. I'm excited for the PS5. Yeah, I'm totally excited for the PS5 because when I heard it was when I heard it was announced, I was like, do we even need a PS5? Like, do we even need a PlayStation 5? Even though we got the PlayStation 4 as another success. Well. Well, since I saw the reveal trailer, I'm now excited for the PS5. And I really hope they're they bring in backwards compatible with PS1 and PS2 and hopefully PS3 games. Please God, I want that feature to happen. And then come up for the PS5 as a backwards compatible feature. supposed to get to the other side like I don't know how to do that uh oh I can't swim Children, <laughs> here's a golden spatula as a reward. Bunko boom. Lord of the Rock. 
Water rising must get to higher ground. Much better. Got another golden spatula. 20th Century Zane says, I can't, I made the 20th Century Fox models. That's really cool. SpongeBob, I heard that you were collecting golden spatulas. Yes, Bubble Buddy, I am. Have you seen one? Why, yes. We were having a sandcastle contest, and somebody put a golden spatula on the top. If I had a castle, I'd name it Fort Patty Town the Third, and Fort Patty Town the Third would have a big bake sale every Monday. Um, the golden spatula? Oh. At the top of the sand castle, right? That should be easy to reach. Well, perhaps you should see for yourself. Water rising must get, must to, get to higher ground. ground. Well, at least we know where the princess is. Like but star. where's the dragon?
Yeah, these are my two dogs, Nikki and Blocky. Alright, one more ball and spatula, then I can defeat Robot Sandy and the Poseidon, which that'll be the last level for this live stream. Opening presents. Hello, Gary. What's new? Meow. You don't say. Squidward bought a new sweater. Oh, he's so crazy. Must be the eyelash sweater. Meow. And there's a golden spatula at the end of this cave. Wow. Ah, a little shade on a hot day. Are you going to make a Shrek crossover project? Well, I haven't done crossovers uh, for a while, so I don't do crossovers a lot. But I might think of a scene from Shrek and then have a crossover with different scenes from other movies, TV shows, or video games. Die again. I might make Madagascar. 20th century Zane style project pretty soon. Well, yeah. Well, sorry that I don't talk to your guys' comments a lot because uh, I can't be distracted while dying and getting pets and such. Because I'm focusing on where I'm going.
there we go. Got 15 golden spatulas. Fresh like a spring breeze. I'm doing more of this uh, on off camera because uh, I want to complete almost every uh, other <laughs> level in the game. to the Poseidon. Are you also excited for Grand Torismo 7? I haven't, I haven't seen or played this game. My Poseidon has been breached by a mighty foe whom you must vanquish. Bring it on, your highness! Bring it on! And Johnny did, didn't show up in this cutscene. <laughs> Will you guys shut up? A huge robot like a oh, look, it's a I'm doing a broadcast right now. Alright, just like the original game, uh, you move around. And then SpongeBob has an opening, down. But will he get the drop on the oh, robot? So Three I see we got some little electric going on. Now the robot. Now the robot's taking a beat out, out, out there. Is that your dog? SpongeBob well, there's also a French bulldog but in the background. The the like I have the, a Shih Tzu and a Lasso Poso, and I also have a. A French bulldog from a friend. Patrick has a big opportunity here. You sure got to carry a lot of stuff around. What a shocking what take a shocking down take by down Patrick. By Patrick. <laughs> Looks like Patrick has a big opportunity here. Oh, oh, nice, nice flying, flying uh, head, head thing, thing moved by, by Patrick. Patrick. Oof, looks like Patrick hey, has a big good. opportunity here. Wow, I've never seen such an electrifying oh, match. Your turn, SpongeBob. The old clothesline move! Fresh like a spring breeze! Oh, what an uppercut! by Spongebob. This match is just about over. Ouch. I feel like a new sponge. There's the robot's vulnerability. And Let's see if Spongebob goes for it. Defeated Robot Sandy. And once again, I already unlocked that trophy. That was quite a battle. Tell him what he's won, Johnny. 
It's a new power, the Bubble Bowl. But wait, there's more. A golden spatula, and that's not all. A gift certificate for $5.32 to Dean's Little Shop of Dried Fish Flakes and Flowers. Oh, thank you. It all means so much. I... I... <sighs> I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Cry all you want, but not here. We just wax the floors. Hey, Plankton. Yes, what is it? I was just wondering why all the robots seem to be coming from inside the chum bucket. Have they? I really haven't noticed. Uh, yeah. And then there's that big flashing neon sign that says, Robot Headquarters. SpongeBob, I'm your friend, right? No, not no, really. No, not really. Exactly. And as your non-friend, I worry about you. Like right now, you're thinking too much. I'm worried you might really hurt yourself. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna think for you. This way, you won't hurt yourself. And you can just keep working on getting me into the chum bucket. Thanks, Plankton. You're the best non-friend a friend could have. No more thinking for me. And of course, I unlocked the bubble bowl. Let me teach you how to bowl a bubble. Press this Press button and, old and you'll bowl a bubble that can knock down robots from a safe distance. Wow! Remember though, the bubble bowl only works on things that are close to the ground. Got it. And it's almost lunch time because because it's around eleven. Let me grab this really quick. Flash, sponge wearing five pairs of underwear coming through. Fresh like a spring breeze. There we go. Don't do that stuff anymore, kid. We're retired. Is that the TV repairman? No, it's that excited sponge kid again. Oh, <coughs> uh, are you sure he can't fix the TV? Mermaid Man, twould be my greatest honor to fix your television. Could be. Hey, sponge kid, you really want to help out? Oh boy, would I? Okay then. Uh. But lighten up a bit on the enthusiasm, huh? Uh, you're making my bowels act up. Uh, we've got a little problem with some robots down in the Mermelair. Are you sure you're up to this task? Absolutely, Barnacle Boy! Well, go over to the couch to access the Mermelair. We'll meet you down there. Is it pudding night yet? No, it's not pudding night yet, you old coot. I don't know if I should do a full gameplay because uh, uh, if you haven't played the original game, I don't know if I should do a full gameplay or just do a, some gameplay. But I'll probably do some of this before lunch. Alright, now I'm inside the Mermel Lair. And the tests are pretty simple. Simple. 
Evil! Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. You shouldn't sneak up on Mermaid Man like that. His heart's not so good. Come to think of it, nothing on him is that good anymore. Sorry, Mermaid Man. It's just that I'm always so excited to see you two. Standing in your awesome presence gives me the chills of justice. See? I've got goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my... All right, kid. Knock it off. Just tell us what you want. Well, I really want a new pair of sunglasses. Patrick sat on my old ones. That's not what I meant. <sighs> Actually, it's a good thing you showed up, young sponge of goodness. It is? It is? Yes! A bunch it of is? evil robots have taken over the Mermelair security system. It's up to you to shut it down and stop them! Well, why him? We're perfectly capable superheroes. Because it's Thursday, and we have a whole bunch of doctor's appointments. Ah, fish sticks. I forgot. Go talk to the Mermelair computer in the next room. She'll tell you what to do. I accept this awesome responsibility, Mermaid Man. You won't be disappointed. To the doctor's office! Away! Away! It's not just any spot. Alright, so the gold specialist and the Mermelair are pretty simple to get. And you know what? For Barnacle Boy is the dialogue which is voiced by Tim Conway. That's a good thing that they brought the brought Tim Conway's dialogue and rehydrated because he passed away last year. Damn it! I know in the original game I could easily go onto this platform like the second step and then easily grab the ledge of this platform. There's nothing like this. The Mermelair, secret fortress of the wrinkly superheroes Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Squidward, am I happy to see you? And not just the kind of happy you feel in the front of your knees, but the kind of happy you feel in the back of your elbow. Oh, you'll never believe what's been happening. Yeah, yeah, I've already been briefed by the geriatric duo. Those two old coots sent me in to get updated with the Mermelair computer. But since you're here now, I'll let you do it. It's right over there. Oh, look at this place. I mean, police. Would it kill them to lay down a few throw rugs? And all this wasted space? How did those two old fogies make all this? Oh, that's easy. In episode 27, the Mermelair is invaded by the digging monsters of Bermuda, and that... Never mind! Never mind!
for somebody who can throw things. Leave it to us. I'm great at throwing things. All you have to do is pick up a throw fruit and throw it into each of those funnel machines. Throw, throw, throw the throw, throw fruit. The fruit. Throw the fruit. No, throw the throw fruit. Throw the tofu. Throw the tofu. Through. You might you want might to be, want be quick, quick about, about it. it. I tend, I tend to, to explode. I mean, they tend to explode. Get some sleep. sleep. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Hey, I know you. You're that guy. Hmm. I'm gonna need a lot more power to activate the hydroacoustic Doppler modulator. Do you think you can handle this? I can see Squidward's house from up here. I can see here. Squidward's house from up he's here. Not wearing any he's, pants. No wearing, he's not wearing any pants. Oh, wait, he oh, never wait. wears pants. He never wears pants. Now, listen up. There are eight cylinders over there. If you throw something at the cylinders, it'll turn around to the power side. Turn all eight cylinders around to the power side, and I'll give you a reward. Sorry, what was that? I was watching Squidward. Just start turning those cylinders. They do Bowser Jr. and Sonic watches and the Lego Batman movie. First off, I don't have the Lego Batman movie, and two, it's Bowser Jr. and Sonic Watches. all eight cylinders. Damn, all in one shot. Ah, uh, well done. Now there's enough power. What do you need all that what power, all that power for? for? Why my foot bath, of course. Here, have a golden spatula. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I wonder what this does. So what do I do with this? There we go. I thought I couldn't get that sock on time. But I did got it. Do Sonic and Bowser Jr. watches uh, Shaun the Seat. Shaun the Sheep. The movie or the TV show? Oh wait, I don't have the movie on DVD yet, or Farmageddon.
fresh like a spring breeze. Like a new sponge. And here's another golden spatula. For me to regain control of the security system, you need to press all the override buttons spread throughout the Mermelair. Hmm. I wonder if Mermaid Man and Hmm. I wonder if Barnacle Boy is still inside that main computer, the Mermelair computer, because he is in the Mermelair computer in the original game. The first one is here. Press the button! Press the button, got it. got it. When you have pressed them all, you should return here to press the master shutdown button. You will be rewarded. Return here! Return here, got, got it. it. Are you listening to me? Listening! Listening, got it! Got it. to the deepest recesses of the Mermelair. Wow. Oh, you took the elevator. Oh, how do I get to the top of this room? Wow. You're right. I bet those tunnels will take me up to the top. Good thinking, Gary. Get out, Mr. Son Amy. Get out of my live stream now. <laughs> There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like victory. No, you're not sorry, Mr. Son Amy. Fresh like a spring breeze. Just get out of here, Mr. Son Amy.
the Spongenator. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like... I'm not listening to you guys, because you're so mean. under that glass. Gold, I say! My eyes are getting sweaty just looking at it! All you have to do is get that great big ball into that there cup. How do I get the ball rolling, Mr. Krabs? You start the process by bubble bowling up this ramp to hit that button. Good luck, SpongeBob. My wallet's counting on you. Here, boy! Here, boy! 
I have regained control of the security system. Here is the reward I promised you. You have pressed all the security buttons. Now press the master shutdown button. <laughs> There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like victory. security system has been shut down, and we got a good checkup. Hooray for justice in all its multi-splendor glory! Yeah, well, Justice Boy, you also cut the power to the Mermelayer's BCS. That's Villain Containment System. Is that bad? Does Mermaid Man smell like sour milk? Yes! Yes, I do! Oh, no. It looks like one of the villains has broken free. What's that? An evil doer on the loose? Who is it? Man Ray? The atomic oh, flounder? Oh. The dirty bubble? No, worse than that. He's your arch enemy. Prawn. Prawn! Did someone call? Oh, I thought maybe I was looking at superheroes. But now I see it's just a couple of pieces of gnarled driftwood. <sighs> Prawn! I'll never forgive you, you madman! What did Prawn do? The worst thing you can imagine. He put all of Mermaid Man's white clothes in the washer with a red sock. Everything I own turned pink. Pink! How horrible! Personally, I thought pink made you very pretty. Really? Sure, pretty stupid. <laughs> I'm not mold, I'm a sponge. Does it sell your difference? A cellular difference! Yeah, yeah, thanks for the lesson, Dr. Science. See you later, Pinky. By the seven seas, Prawn, I shall not rest until you are captured. But first, I shall have to change from my secret identity into Mermaid Man. You don't, you don't have, have a, a secret, secret identity, identity old coo -coo. Maybe you better take care of Prawn while I take care of this. I shall avenge you, Mermaid Man!
This is the end of Prawn! Prawn is safely locked away again, thanks to you, Frankie. My name's, my name's SpongeBob. Here, I found this in my sock drawer, next to a bunch of pink socks. It's another golden spatula. Thank you, Mermaid Man. I shall always live my life by your shining example. Let goodness and kindness... Are you, Are you still, still here? here? And of course, I unlocked Shrimp Catcher Trophy. Nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells, Smells like, like victory. Damn it. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like victory.
Oh, damn it! Just my size. Okay, fuck it. I can't do this. Go. Much better. I suppose you'll be needing this more than me. And I got 25 golden spatulas. And I got super spatula seeker by collecting 25 golden spatulas. The silver trophy. And you know what? That's a good number to end this episode of. To end this broadcast. So. Have fun playing BF Baby Rehydrated. And. Have fun unlocking all trophies if you have the PS4 version. And good luck have unlocking all achievements on X if you have the Xbox One version. But on the Nintendo Switch version, which I also have, you can't unlock trophies or, or achievements on Switch. So, I can't wait to play more BFBB Rehydrated. And until next time, Plumber Hedgehog Bandicoot Power.